11.58 p.m. in the Philippines, and we are broadcasting from the National Telehealth Center in Manila. Some quick announcements before we start our session. We're now using Cisco Meeting Center today, and if you are encountering problems as you participate, please log out the session and rejoin immediately. Your mic will be muted for the rest of our meeting as you are having now. And if you have questions, you can either chat it in the chat box or click the raise your hand button. The chat box is located in the lower left panel of your screen. And the, the raise your hand button is located before the name of the participants. For our introductions now, please chat your name and your designation in our chat box so we can know who is inside our meeting room. To give you a sample, I will do my own introductions via chat box. This is Alia. I am a research assistant at the University of the Philippines, Manila. And now I am currently holding the secretariat at UP Manila. So make sure that you have typed and addressed your chat to everyone. Thank you for those responses. I see Klug from Hong Kong. Dr. Rajiv from India. Mr. Edison from the Philippines. From Subodha from uh, Sri Lanka, I think. Dr. Fazila is on board from Malaysia. Sambath from Cambodia. And Sir Jai from India. We also have our speaker on board. So there, so if you are ready to participate, let us know more about our speaker. Our speaker is a lecturer at the Kyoto University, specializing in electronic health records. He earned his PhD in medical health informatics in Kyushu University in Japan and has been in the academe for quite some time. His expertise are on medical informatics, clinical oncology, healthcare IT, among others. So later on, our speaker, as I give him the presentation controls, he will give more uh, information about himself and some history of electronic health records in Japan. Thank you very much for coming early. Again, this is Ali Evangelista. I will now be giving the floor to our speaker, Dr. Shinji Kobayashi. Hello. Uh, can, can you hear me well? So. Thank you. You can go on now, Dr. Yeah. Shinji. So I'll start my presentation. Okay. Uh, my presentation title is I get back your e health to your hand with open source software and open standards. Yes. I'm Shinji Kobayashi, Kyoto University. Uh, so I'm first my I introduce myself with uh, e healthcare in the Japanese history. Uh, uh, I'm born in 1970, and uh, in after 1970, our Japanese uh, medical informatics uh, has launched and research uh, research research and development act was. Uh, Act started, uh, and that night in 1980, uh, received computers. So I'll mention about later uh, the first electronic uh, framing system for insurance or healthcare. And I brought up with uh, Japanese culture, manga, anime, computer, computer, and brought up, uh, entered the Kyushu University Medical School. And, uh, but, but uh, in 1919, I 
get I got a net MD license and I have I was a resident and clinical hematology oncology in hospital. Uh, at the same time, clinical physicians or the P CPOE order entry system was lo uh, launched in my hospital, but it was hardly to use an ugly interface. Uh, so I can I thought uh, I can do it better. This is this misunderstanding is was uh, my great motivation. Uh, I explained uh, uh, about ten years ago a Japanese e-health station and healthcare 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 insurance background. Uh, this is a chart of health expenditure for GDP of OECD countries. Uh, the, mo the most health, uh, most the most health expenditure of United States, United States, of course, and this is the average uh, OECD average. And Japan was I'm sure smaller like health expenditure in OECD countries, uh, but not uh, we got the uh, long, uh, almost longest life lifespan and healthcare indexes. Uh, this good life in the, uh, life. Uh, healthcare indexes and health life, long lifespan was achieved by achieved by, by Japanese medical insurance insurance system. Um, from this is uh, universal care in Japan. Uh, even foreign people in Japan can can be get subsidized. From patient and medical perspective, uh, all citizens are able to join our insurance system and free access is uh, free access to providers and specialists. Uh, if you want to uh, consult uh, healthcare specialists for such as uh, cardiac surgery, clinical hematology, you, you can enter directly to their office. Uh, and fee for service payment is average uh, is this, this, uh, determined by government. So cost cost and price was very suppressed for ev everything. This has a very com confusing but uh, very works good. Uh, uh, but uh, problem problems were was uh, on e-health problems that shown this price uh, high cost and low return. Um, many doctors and nurses are much able to show, to face to uh, face to computer and enter being uh, health. Information with a long time than longer time than paper description or the de description and there is the oligopoly market. Uh, not so many companies uh, companies are interested in this area because it is healthcare domain was difficult and get not so much money. Um, because of suppression of raising cost of healthcare in Japan, uh, many uh, and there are many standards uh, um, for healthcare all over the world. More than 200, 200 standards are issued, published for healthcare, but few implementation 
uh, about uh, is available. There is that is a paper standard and description to use. Um, if we want, uh, if we we wanted, uh, if I wanted to use such a standard to implement computer e-health system, we have we had to uh, enter some uh, society or group to and pay a, so not so small money, uh, big mo big money to enter payment uh, company uh, to enter fee or maintenance fee is very high to use standard. That was property and um, gear standards, gear standard manual. And vendor locking was uh, severe in Japan because, uh, for example, in a hospital e uh, e EHO or uh, e-health system, we have many data on patients, about patients, but we cannot use so not so we can we can not use so useful statis, stat, some statistics uh, how many how many patients for this disease or how much money costs uh, on disease category is not so easy it ha we if we wa want to make such uh, statistics we must ha pay much money to uh, vendors or engineers. And um, data was locked into healthcare system. And, uh, there are no interoperability of data set. Uh, this is a receipt, uh, so-called recepto uh, in Japanese. Japanese English receipt form, uh, claim form. Uh, we, this paper, uh, we claim uh, to hospital to insurance by paper to paper uh, by insurance and get back to money by this receipt form. This sheet sheet have demographics and insurance number and diagnosis and laborat which laboratory test was performed and procedure prescription and many and many local rules ro rules many local rules. And, uh, the the receipt computer is a Japanese the English um, to automate claiming and bidding to print this paper and calculate total healthcare expenditure by computer um, with uh, our insurance rules. This has uh, the, this is a database for of patients and hospital or clinics, but uh, it was very district to use data can be utilized for only recept work, not statistics, or not for patient the patient survey. We cannot use survey, use this data for surveillance, any surveillance. Uh, and very uh, expensive for clinic, for clinic or hospitals. Uh, the smallest set was three million Japanese, uh, about three thirty thousand US dollars. Uh, ten years uh, about ten years ago. Um, again, problem of e health in is high cost and low return. 
and many standards and full implementation, and many locked in status. Uh, besides, the internet was uh, explosively, uh, was explosively uh, spread all over the world because it has open standard and open implementation base. Open source software where and open source standards has a synergy effect on internet pro propagation. Open license, uh, open source software was op has an open license and assures free distribution. And that means share, to share intellectual resources for all people and freely use. Uh, uh, that accelerated the like human intellectual works all over the world. You can, uh, we can use Twitter, Facebook, or Google. Or all of most of the internet services are available by open source software. Because the source codes of the was open, uh, we can we we can avoid locking status and it drives open standards. Uh, as a result, we did use a cost of the software. We can freely uh, assemble and compile the code and you, we can make healthcare system by freely with open source material. This is uh, mainly talk, uh, talked about uh, cost reduction, but co about cost, um, there's there's a very controversial matters about cost reduction. Open source software, or open source software, which is better open source software is cheaper or more expensive. It has um, many discussion, but most of all, we can you, most of the case we can reduce the uh, cost of uh, e data, uh, applica cost for software. Uh, at, the, uh, at the time, at, in 2000, my first grade of graduate school of American Informatics Org project was launched from J JMA Japan Medical Association. They said we will develop and re release a receipt computer computer for receipt work by uh, under DPL 2.0 as the open source software, and we create a standard with implementation based de facto standard and uh, MML claim, pro they adopt MML and MM claim, uh, Japanese standard for medical transaction to to communicate e EMR of Japanese hospitals. And they started correct, uh, correct and survey surveillance to uh, has because healthcare policy, uh, because Japanese healthcare policy was sometimes wrong and misled for many wrong politicians or bureaucrats, and JMA has to protest such uh, politician with evidence or database Every database protest, and they need to protest to show data. Uh, so, but there are many uh, 
even uh, 10 years ago, uh, 90 or 90 percent uh, of clinical clinics and hospitals had the uh, receipt com receipt system, but not connected each other. All that was aimed to connect them, um, sm connect su such a receipt system and distributed a huge giant to. They, they make, to distribute it, uh, they want to create a mega system for Japan Medical Association. So they need uh, open source development. This is a component of the ML system. Uh, they had they had developed. Uh, Many system and use uh, open source open source material. Uh, they developed uh, open cover for to compile uh, this uh, business logic to logic of business rule or business rule and business model of uh, receipt receipt and insurance rule to calculate their data. I don't know cover well, but uh, Grace Murray Hopper, the cover developer, this was, I like this world of cover developer, Grace Murray Hopper. If it is a good idea, go ahead and do it. It's much easier to apologize than if you get from, to get permission. This is very, I, I do it. In many challenges under this phrase, uh, they started the fixed point survey study in influenza or RS virus, HBV, HBV, and on, online uh, online surveillance and other de derived uh, open source works, open source projects and works. And uh, because uh, our insurance system is very good, but uh, it's very complex. It has very complex rule and local rule to implement all of the calculation rule is very heavy for a personal or a small company, but we can use this comp this. Orca, a GML standard receipt computer to as a block, block of uh, cal insurance calculation, we can reduce uh, such a implementation cost and open source electronic medical records of what project was launched, launched at that time. Open doping is a Popular uh, e EMR system for clinics uh, and Noah, uh, Dr. Hashi, gynecologist, developed uh, by 20 years experience with uh, PHP JavaScript for to use the clinic work. Clinic work, uh, 70 years old. Very young attempt. Uh, this is a figure of project governance of Orca, uh, JMA, uh, JMA and support center, and JMA authorized Orca support business. Support business is, uh, is a hierarchy, and uh, each host. Uh, JMA also has support business, support uh, each uh, small clinic or hospital. Orca support center and J JMA assures, assure and authorize that support business because uh, useless or uh, evil 
vendor get in the, on this business. We can search uh, for support vendor by JMA web website. This is local ecosystem. Uh, JMA gives the hospital to you information, information and hospital and clinic pay the member uh, JMA membership fee and and uh, developer JMA pays the development fee to developer and developer uh, gives the JM uh, gives the source code to JMA and support vendor is a, has a authorization and authorization fee is fee uh, or support vendor pay the authorization fee to for JMA. This is very uh, this looks very good but uh there was many conflict uh, there were many conflictions between uh, Hostel to JMA and support vendor and developer, there, which is uh, developer needs more money and hospital and clinic needs more service and support vendor needs more money or money and service conflicts of uh, Japan and human history. <laughs> yeah. So I think. We need a community to manage, uh, to smooth the communication. So medical open source software council and group group was launched in April 2004. This is a beer party and beer party or past beer party. Very excited. And, and I went, uh, I visited many uh, countries to show this achievement of all kind of Japanese open source software achievement. And, uh, this is Square at Notre Dame. And I visited Kuala Lumpur. Oh, like, this is a uh, not for my wife, yeah. And uh, this is U.S. Open Source EHR Summit uh, 2012. Uh, so in U.S., better software have, has developed open source software EMR EHR system named Vista and. Uh, may, army or military service has contributed to open source software and healthcare. Uh, this is army, navy, uh, air force. So, and president of chair of this summit. Uh, what I want to see is uh, open source of uh, Many people have skepticism for open source software. Uh, it lacks uh, assurance, or it, uh, we can uh, assurance Microsoft is better, or many other property vendors has a good service, open source has no service. But we can just say, uh, even US military service use this Open, uh, open source, uh, open source software for their task. Oh, we are, we can rely on open source software as much as, um, as, as much as US military service. Uh, this is the last year slide for everyone, uh, made info open source software. Thing. Hello, Dr. Shinji. Hello. Hi. Okay. 
Thank you very much for the first part, first part of your lecture. I would just like to raise some questions uh, from I received from the chat box. Would that be okay? Okay. Okay. One question here from uh, uh, our friend from Pakistan, but we will continue our session, uh, you know, second part of your uh, presentation um, later. This question comes from our colleague from Pakistan, Mr. Shed Morsalin, and his question is about the presentation you gave, uh, the slides you read and explained a while ago. Are the insurance uh, systems you have discussed earlier in your slides mandatory or for mandatory for all citizens? And are the insurance managed by the government or private companies? Uh, both, um, both, uh, mainly managed by government. Uh, government. So, so, government has a very huge. Uh, government has huge uh, priority of ob obligation. So, uh, very low price. Uh, they uh, they determine the low price for this uh, procedure we we have to work under low prices and you can protest at uh, low, low, low prices of uh, healthcare service against the government yes oh i see Thank you very much for that. Yeah. But I also have another question on uh, the internet that you have raised a while ago. How ha how does the internet become a threat in uh, developing solutions for healthcare? Uh, internet uh, internet is internet is a model. Uh, I adopted uh, I introduced uh, the internet because of uh, good model for development and. Uh, propagation, uh, very very low cost and very we can use internet by, by low uh, low cost before uh, lower cost than ten years ago or twenty years ago. So if we use uh, open source software on healthcare. We can use uh, e health system by low cost and more fruitful services like uh, internet service. This is a good model for development and a uh, user experience and user av av availability. Okay, thank you very much. As you have said, the internet has uh, given more opportunities for yeah. developing um, open source solutions mm -hmm. for healthcare. And you also yeah. discussed a while ago some uh, the benefits of yeah. uh, op using open source yeah. software. I hope um, some of our listeners right now were clarified on some points that you are discussing earlier. So my, yeah. there is another question here from Jai from India. Um, I think Mr. Kobayashi referred to the Veterans Health Information Systems and Technology Architecture, or VISTA, when he mm -hmm. mentioned that U.S. Army is using open source. May you, yeah. um, can you clarify more on that? Yeah. Uh, the U.S. Army said, US Army, uh, said uh, 60 or 80 percent of software, uh, they use, uh, they 60 or use, 80% of softwares were derived from open source software, uh, and it is uh, because of uh, security issue, they have to, uh, they, uh, they avoid such a backdoor on the property and, and not open source software. Uh, uh, we have the we have same situation. Uh, we cannot uh, we can't assure we can't assure the property software uh, 
if it has no backdrop, no pitfall to espionage or satisfy action or leak, leakage for malus by company to track the healthcare data for the marketing services. Uh, so, uh, yes, yes. U.S. The reason of U.S. I mean, uh, the most reason, uh, the best, uh, most, uh, the most important reason for to use open source software for by U.S. Army was uh, security, and we ha have to concern about that security issue. Mm, okay, so I see that um, uh, as you're you are saying a while ago, we cannot be even if we are using proprietary proprietary yeah. software, we cannot be insured on its security. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, open source software are um, currently being used by yeah. um, U.S. Army for their assistance yeah. because um, it is um, applicable and yeah. may have the same. Uh, Use for yeah. for that purpose. Another question here from Hanan Khan from Bangladesh: Are you using any open source system for insurance claim and verifications in Japan? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah yes. Uh, other uh, other uh, even other proprietary uh, system or uh, e-health system, adopt Linux system, Linux as OS or Apache uh, HTTP server to for their web services. Uh, it's not so rare case to adopt open source software in e-health system in this in this uh, in this during this decade. Okay. Okay, thank you. And last question, we have a number of questions here in our chat box. Um, Dr. Rajiv asks, how difficult was it to em implement the ORCA ecosystem? Was it mandatory by law or it was a per individual choice that they entered in that ecosystem? Mm, yeah, so it, uh, uh, in ecosystem, uh, so in in that in the orca in the orca ecosystem um all of the all of the people wants to make a good system not so not going to bad or not going to disgrace or uh other people but so they want to uh, but to, uh, during the software de development or uh, mat maturing, uh, but, uh, only mail, uh, uh, not face-to-face uh, -face communication makes many conflicts between members. Uh, uh, framing, like a framing of Twitter, uh, mailing list, was not a uh, uh, very frequently occurred in the in the uh, during uh, development uh, developing phase of our system so we need to make a good communication between uh, such uh, con such our early adapters uh, because they are very they have Main question to um, because uh, next conflict is the proof uh, evidence of they have passion, but the good communication motives are gives up to uh, for good good direction to discussion, but. Uh, development, development uh, in the, during the development phases, uh, there tends to go bad direction to and framing. Okay. 
Thank you. Um, last two questions from our group, and then we proceed on your presentation. Um, from uh, Mr. Shed Mursalin from Pakistan again, how about the use of open source software in hospitals? Um, are they now using uh, are they now using interoperability or are they now on in are they now interoperable are the open source software uh, solutions in hospitals are they now interoperable oh, okay I'll, I'll mention about later but uh, in short uh, partially partially implemented but and uh, partially not not all but partially uh, step by step, gradu uh, it gradually it's very u useful, useful and it has very good great meaning to uh, make a system, uh, make a communication system, an interoperable system under open source software because uh, to communicate uh, to, to send message to send a message. Oh, by a standard, under standard, uh, by a standard, but uh, source code, source, uh, if we can access uh, the receiver or sender's source code, code and share such source code is very good for communication because we can uh, control or arrange that uh, communication timing or message pass, message uh, passing message or understanding message or uh, serialize or make message how to how they make how system make message uh, of source codes are available we can read and understand how they read and how they create messages. Okay, thank you very much. What I get on that is that if source codes, source codes are available, it would be easy for um, systems to communicate. Okay, I will um, postpone this uh, question from Mohammad Ula from Bangladesh. Um, I think we we'll move on to the next uh, to your next the next part of your presentation. Go ahead. Uh, is there any open source software insurance okay. man management? Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, yes. We. This, yes. Okay. Can you, are you ready to? Answer that. Okay, go ahead. Okay, okay. Um, the question is: Is there any open source software uh, available for insurance management, which is being used in Japan? Yeah, Orca and JMA system is freely available in Japan, but so it it uh, it uh, it very depends on Japanese rule. Uh, maybe another other countries can do. It, it's it's much for matter. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe um, other countries could try using yeah. JMA and yeah. um, Orca. As you have as yeah. you have explained. So, um, Dr. Shinji, you can go ahead with your next uh, slide. Okay. Uh, next slide, okay. So, uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, about ten years ago, standards or Gildoro. I mentioned before uh, to implement standards need to, need to join a group and pay uh, not so small money and uh, and uh, I I like I'd like to say uh, they they are mainly Western standards uh, using uh, alphabet. Asia, in Asian countries, uh, Japan, Thai, uh, Cambodia has its own character system. So, but Western standards uh, Western standards is using uh, US ASCII or Latin codes, only Latin codes, not for to manage such. To, uh, to manage Japanese characters and by such Western standards, it's very difficult. 
uh, it's not only cast cause address and name expression is different in uh, different in Eastern or Asian country and currency rules are ch different from Western from from Western country, but it not supports uh, a, that Asian situation. H uh, H seven is a uh, famous and popular medical standard organization, but H uh, seven Japan branch was preferred uh, has been preferred commercial property for sustainability rather than use for everyone. Uh, I I I like to implement or it, I I try to implement it, uh, open source software uh, H S seven uh, under uh, by uh, implement H S seven messaging system by uh, under open source license rule but uh, but I cannot get any permission from H S seven Japan and Snow Meadow is um, uh, mainly maintained by uh, Europe and North America. Only Singapore joined from Asia. Uh, we cannot, so we have to pay uh, money with GDP based membership fee to Snowman. And, but uh, many, uh, so we cannot, we couldn't use any standard for free uh, at um, at ten years ago. But uh, but MML climb standards uh, from Japan uh, mainly only uh, on, um, mainly uh, only in Japan standard group in Kyoto University published a uh, freely freely available standards for by XM based and ISO thirteen six oh six and open nature standard was op open based standard and standard. Uh, Dr. Harvey asked me to introduce ISO 136 and open it, but I, this, uh, we have not many time, much time to explain about ISO 13606. Uh, uh, in short, ISO 13606 is standard for record and archetype conceptual model and reference model but its characters. Uh, the, uh, on the other hand, HA7 is a standard for message. Message and record is a different approach of developing a EHR. So uh, I launched openHR.jp as a local activity of the OpenHR project. I am many translation and adjust clinical concept to, to Japanese situation and implemented Ruby to use open nature standard as a free open source. Now I explain about uh, 10 years achievement and 10 and current at Situation of e healthcare in Japan. This is a uh, working status of ORCA and JMA recipe system. Uh, about 13,600 13, clinic, clinics or hospitals adopted uh, ORCA receptor system. Uh, impacts of Orca project is declined price of recipes computer before Orca. Uh, 
price of received computer is very high and high. And sad. But after all, in nowadays, it, it reduced the decline of prices uh, and one third or one five before Orca. Uh, this this cost reduction power, uh, this cost reduction affects also other uh, e healthcare system and the market share is not drastically changed but uh, received computer, e-health system usually depress uh, five and eight years long period, periods, and because of long period, uh, one percent per year change, changes uh, get uh, only 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 forty percent or uh, not only forty percent is. Uh, Subjective matter, but uh, so 13,000 hospitals adoption is a huge, uh, one of the biggest, uh, one of the most uh, propagated uh, open source software for e health system. And derived works uh, was open cover and the claim standard was uh, many the all projects. Make a derived work. This summary source codes are more, more than one million steps. Uh, the monetary base aspect was Orca system processes, processes uh, 3 trillion Japanese yen, uh, 30 billion US dollars per year. If they made a, uh, the developer of Orca said, if I made a bug in Orca system and one percent loss, it's too huge. Uh, we have to suicide or harakiri. <laughs> they said. And in these ten years, uh, paper-based claim was changed to internet VPN. VPN in e and <laughs> internet VPN. This is very large, uh, very great changes. JML uh, uh, system the uh, change Japanese e health situation exactly, definitely. And Standards are also changed. Uh, three years ago, CIMY Clinical Information Model Modeling Initiative was model, was uh, started by uh, many standard organizations and major vendors as a harmonization work of standards. And they adopted OpenHR architect model and UML to describe, define the clinical model and decided to be open discussion, free implementation. And HL7 change policy, change policy. We can use document and we can implement any soft, software for HL7 under open source writing. Terminology, uh, ICD and LOINC, I can't, I'm not sure, but uh, SNOMED, SNOMED is not changed yet. But uh, uh, as a result, uh, Panasonic, Panasonic, uh, major, one of the major vendors of e health skills uh, recipe computer system sold its section because they cannot get money uh, they cannot get enough money to maintain 
it was top share received complete and still now 30,000 clinical and hospitals use the Panasonic healthcare, healthcare research computer and research computer. They sold healthcare section and they show the property list of property list uh, that the building and uh, building or money or such a property and the property list shows uh, includes five million patient records in their system. It's very controversial. It became a very controversial government matter. Uh, the owners, the new fund ownership was 80 percent was U.S. fund and 20 percent Panasonic fund. Uh, which law is applicable to control Panasonic healthcare uh, and five million patients' record to man to, uh, to manage is uh, Severe matter. It's a severe matter. Which law is applicable to manage five million patients' record? Japanese law can restrict only in Japan territory. Mm. Uh, so I like this is a very difficult and severe problem for healthcare. Uh, many countries have anti-terrorism terrorism laws, but uh, it permits espionage or spy act to electronic data and communication within healthcare system. system. And last year, CI, CI profession Snowden revealed such a spy act or CIA or FBI. And where is your data is very virtualized, but virtualized. There are use, uh, it is very easy to use, but I'm, I have to assure and ensure who has this data and who controls data is uh, another problem. And what do they use the data for? Um, many long and boring contact pages show how how to how use their uh how use the and data on cloud in to enable such services you have to concern more concern about to protect patient privacy and sustainability uh, other results uh, propriety, one propriety vendor was sold to other section, other country, other section, but not, uh, not disappear. They have to maintain our, uh, our the hospital's recept computer system uh, and the health system, but the, we, but no, there's no assurance for where a pen or a pen to pen they stop services is a uh, not not uh, or there has a, I think there has responsibility to maintenance maintain their service or maintain computer for patient, but 
is the business model. Uh, Omi Machan's philosophy is a Japanese, a, a Japanese famous Machan's ma, philosophy, are good for me, good for you, good for society. This is open source. This is not uh, conflict with open source software speech, but sometimes conflict and uh, misleading for bad way. And, because, uh, and open source software and business model has a long, long have a long history of discussion and not and have not established yet. But we have to assure well healthcare healthcare e health professional e healthcare e healthcare informatics do assure data sustainability, patient data sustainability. We we have to mind whose data and who protects data, who protects data. There's a discussion again. Um, and but uh, conclusion is the doors are open and direction is not determined yet. And the last slide is uh, uh, oh, the last slide was a uh, uh, good slide for EHR design and adoption required and engagement. Engagement. We see it later. Um, it is from uh, Deepak Karada, Kala, UCL, uh, London. Okay. Oh. Okay, any question? Uh, I'll going, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, Dr. Shinji, and for that uh, very uh, um, comprehensive discussion of our topic for this afternoon. I have uh, reserved the questions which were posted a while ago, and I hope you have your uh, very concise but short answer to the following, because I think we're running um, um, out of Time. So this is one question from Hanan Khan from Bangladesh. Um, I want to know: Are you using any software for claiming management? For example, um, in Bangladesh, he said that they are using Open MRS based okay. hospital system for health records oh, yeah. and the DHIS2 for aggregated data. Yeah. So, um, are you using any software for claim management? Uh, in the past, okay. Uh, so, uh, e-health e management system is that I I I mean I use uh, but uh, Dolphin system to keep uh make uh, to keep uh, EHR regional healthcare system in Japan it, um, it's an implementation of ML, MML standard and used for this region's uh, regional healthcare system uh, can you repeat that system again? What's the name of the system? Uh, dolphin. Dolphin. Okay. Yeah. I hope that uh, I, dolphin. Yeah. yeah sorry. <laughs> dolphin. Yeah. That's the word. Dolphin. Okay. Dolphin. So another I... question from Zai. We make it fast so that we could address all the questions both said. How is the support managed for the implementation in Japan of the system to have said? Is it from among the user community, or is there a national support desk whom the no. users approach? Uh, so this is a model. Uh, this is a model of uh, support system. J JMA and 
JMA and all the uh, JMA support center has a contract to support uh, authorized support vendor. Authorized support vendor, and there are many authorized support vendor all over Japan, and they go to hospital or clinics by their business, and they they get a maintenance fee from uh, from uh, hospital, and they provide the service, and JMA issues the authorized authorization. This is, I think this is a good model for support system, e-healthcare support, support system. So what you're saying is that support system come from vendors, is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The vendor, support vendor, support vendor, mm -hmm. uh, but Dolphin support vendor provides uh, source codes and uh, they can, a uh, doctor can use such source codes to implement their clinics uh, EMR, EMR, EHR services, but mm -hmm. not all doctors can compile or make such a computer system. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. Dolphin vendor provides service, services and set up PC to the hospital and get their money. Mm, okay. No That's... government, uh, no government support <laughs> is available. Ah, okay. So that we get, that's why you get it from defenders because there's no support from the government. Okay. Yeah, How about yeah. this um, one question from Hanan of Bangladesh uh -huh. again? For open source platform, you need a strong coordination and financing. Is the Orca project taking care of that, or did, is it solely dependent on JMA or JMARI? So, um. Is the is J is Orca taking care of a uh, so strong support, strong coordination and financing? That's his question. Yeah. yeah. Yes. The the funds development the uh, development fee. Uh, okay, thank you. And yes, you Hanan said that you have already addressed that. Okay, from uh last two questions. HL, this is from Rajiv of uh, India. HL7 CDA is a wonderful method for clinical docu documentation yeah. using, uh, j this is just a comment, I think, standard yeah. of choice. And from Jai of India also, how about Loink, which is free and they are working to get, uh, I think he's talking on an open source solution you have mentioned a while yeah. ago. Are you using Loink together with Radlex in Japan? Uh, I, I yes, I try to use Loink to harmonize, to harmonize uh, many laboratories' data correction, but uh, unfortunately, Loink is not so good. Uh, not not so good feasibility to implement it, implement it Japanese. Uh, laboratory system because Japanese laboratory system has many uh, uh, detailed and complex uh, labor, uh, specimen specimen or uh, test situation to description. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much, um, Dr. Shinji, for addressing the questions of our uh, listeners and uh, participants in our Asian hour. So some um, points that I would like to emphasize in the last few slides of Dr. Shinji, that successful EHR design and adoption requires engagement. And as he has said in the uh, presentation he had, Open source solutions are viable tools to co to be customized and to address the problems that we are currently use uh, we are currently experiencing from um, 
proprietary software solutions. And he also mentioned about vendor engagement, who can give us strong support, most especially when during the absence of um, go our governments, and also on national engagement, which can ensure a good fit with the national health service and public health priorities that we are that, that our countries are implementing. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Shinji. I would just like to recognize um, who are who uh, the participants in our meeting room. We have um, participants from the Ministries of Health of China, from um, India, from uh, Sri Lanka. Some people whom I are sure, and um, some from our friends from Cambodia and from Bangladesh from uh, Pakistan, from Thailand, and thank you very much also for the others, and also from the Philippines. Um, for now, I would like to invite everyone else, including our speaker, to open your video cams and share your um, share your virtual presence with us so we can document this and post in our um, social networks. Thank you very much for opening your video cams. Thank you very much for Edison from the Philippines. Uh huh. Waiting for others. Dr. Rajiv, thank you from uh, India. Uh, so I see. How about um, Dr. Samantha from Sri Lanka? Um, Dr. Shed from uh, Pakistan. If you have a video come with you, please open it so I can take our virtual presence. I hope our bandwidth can carry this out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, for a while, I'll take your photos. Please freeze your smile because I have to click next to in, for, for me to, uh, to see everyone. Okay, so I still wait for the others. Thank you. I see everyone. Uh -huh, so for the first part, this is this um, Dr. Shinji and this one from the Philippines, Rajiv. Um, Boga doesn't have a uh, cam with him and Klube, so I take this time. So freeze your smile. Smile, one, two, three. Yes, I have got that screenshot for our first batch. So I have to wait for the others. Sorry, we have to do this in our A and R because um, this, uh, this is a wonderful activity to tell our colleagues that we are having this kind and meet of meeting and also to encourage them to attend. So I take the next batch. This is Eni, Fatima, and Hanan. So I see you yourself, so just read your smiles and your cams. One, two, three, smile. There, I got that, I hope. So next is our next batch. If we're going 500, would you like to do this again? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Okay, we next for the next batch, thank you very much for coming. This is Jitsupa, our new coordinator from Thailand. Hi, Jitsupa. Uh huh. Hello. Yes, I see you. And also, Hello. uh huh. Okay. And our friends from Bangladesh. Wait, I was just, uh, I got the screenshot of your smiles for a while for the last batch, I hope, so that you won't have to hold your smile that very long. Um, that this is Samantha. Subo, uh, Saman, uh, Dr. Samantha there from the Ministry Hello. of Health of Sri Lanka, Subodha, uh -huh. and I take from uh, Cambodian team. Does our Cambodian team have their webcams with them? Mm -hmm, for a while. Okay, I um your microphone because it's gaining feedback. Okay, last smiles from our Cambodia team and from uh -huh, still there from our Cambodia team. I, I don't know if they have their video comes with them. And Miss Tingli Wang Mo. Anyway, thank you very much for being with us in our Ahin hour. Please expect expect that uh, we'll be sending you an email to for uh, for 
the evaluation of this AIM hour. Thank you very much and see you on the last Friday of the month that is hopefully January, uh, that is January 30, 24 for our uh, AIM hour. This is Alia Evangelista. Thank you very much for being with us in this activity. See you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dr. Shinji, for that session. Please check your emails for um, the evaluation survey. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. See you last Friday of the month. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shinji. Thank mm -hmm. you.